So Armored Core 6 has been out for a few days now and reviews have been rolling in and for the most part everything's pretty positive. However, the bad reviews have been, well, hilariously bad. I started diving into them and man, what I found was really starting to smooth out my brain so I thought I should share. Really this all stems from a Reddit post that I had seen that said 50% of the bad reviews on Steam are because people can't beat the tutorial boss. So I started doing a little bit of diving in and boy was that correct and so much worse. I found three main problems that people were having with the game. And as a major fan of From Software games and of this new Armored Core 6, I thought I should give my take on how hilariously bad these bad reviews are. So first off, on the subject of difficulty, is Armored Core 6 a difficult game? Yes. Is every From Software game a difficult game? Yes. Is that a good thing? Yes. If you were complaining about the difficulty of a From Software game, are these games meant for you? No, absolutely not. And that's honestly okay. From Software games aren't really meant for everybody. They're meant for people that want a challenging, rewarding experience. And sure, some of the fan base may gatekeep their coveted Dark Souls badge of honor of completion, and that's all great and all. But in all honesty, the games aren't impossibly difficult. But for some, they are. Now, me personally, I love the difficulty of these games, but there are some games that are just not my type of games that are also very difficult. Probably one of the easiest examples that I could make is a small classic that you may have never heard of. It's called Super Mario Bros. Now, obviously, the beginning of that game is hilariously simple and easy. However, as we all know, if you've ever played that game and taken the warp stage to the end of the game, of course, because that's the only way you could get there, you quickly found out how insanely difficult that game was as a 2D platformer. And guess what I quickly found out? That 2D platformers are not really my thing. So I didn't keep beating my head against a wall in an ill-fated attempt to try to beat this game that I didn't even really like that much because 2D platformers aren't my thing. You know what I didn't think immediately? I didn't think, wow, they should put different difficulty settings on this game to make it easier for me. No, instead, I logically just moved on to a different game that I enjoyed more. However, in this day and age, it seems like everybody wants to be able to play every game in some sort of movie mode, where they can sit back, watch some sort of story, and have minimal gameplay. And if that's what you want, great, go play something like God of War Ragnarok, or The Last of Us 2, or Knack, you know, one of these cinematic gaming masterpieces. However, people don't come to From Software games to be told a story. We come for one simple reason, and that is to get good. I know that term has been turned into some sort of terribly toxic and evil term that the Dark Souls community uses to gatekeep. However, contrary to popular belief, we are not telling you to get good to rub it in your face or tell you that you're bad at the game. We are telling you to get good because that is where you will get the satisfaction of playing a From Software game. That is where we all get the satisfaction of playing From Software games. Games. It is the reward of overcoming a feat that seemed impossible minutes, hours, days, months, or years before. And it is about overcoming that adversity. And if you were to play these games on an easy mode, you would be robbing yourself of this rich experience. So my tip to you, if you are having a hard time with the difficulty, is simply that you are playing the game wrong. These games can be beaten. Armored Core 6 in particular. The tutorial boss seems daunting, but it's trying to teach you everything you're going to need to know to play the game. You will need to move quickly. You will need to use all your weapons. You will need to use cover, and you will need to use the boss's attacks against it by getting underneath it or around it or just avoiding them altogether. These are the simple things that this boss will teach you that will carry throughout the entire game. From Software has been masterful at creating these difficult yet accessible tutorial bosses in all of their games. If you are having a hard time, step back and reassess and you will be able to overcome this obstacle. Then you'll be able to carry on and enjoy the fantastic game that is Armored Core 6. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, a like and a subscribe would go a long way for me. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the month, so it'd be greatly appreciated. However, 
back to the subject of story, that is the second of the three major complaints that I've been seeing. The story is not easy to understand or that it is vague. And I don't know, but this may be news to you, but we don't ever get the story from any of these games. We get them from Vati Vidya. But of course, if you're a From Software fan, and you understand these games after playing them a single time or maybe even two times, my hat is off to you. I've never understood these games by just playing them and reading item descriptions because I don't like reading item descriptions personally. I like going and watching a Vati Vidya video. Oh boy, try saying that 10 times fast. Obviously, we all do it. That's how we all get the story. Nobody gets the story from these games. We're not playing it to be told a story right to our face. And actually, I will say the exposition in between the missions is pretty good, honestly. And the cutscenes are great also. They're a visual marvel, in my opinion. However, some people, like I said before, want the purely cinematic movie games of the future. And if that's the case, like I said before, Armored Core 6 might not be for you, and that's okay. And finally, the third and possibly most egregious complaint that I've been seeing about Armored Core 6 is that the game is too short. Now, the other two complaints I can kind of understand. The difficulty, sure, they're difficult games and people want to play them. The story being vague, sure, that's been a complaint for a lot of their games, but get used to it, we watch Vati Vidya. However, this complaint about the game length is so unbelievably dumb that merely even reading or hearing it has made my IQ points drop to the point of freezing water. This is such a bad complaint, it's almost like when IGN dropped the review for Resident Evil 2 Remake before they had played the second scenario of the game and said that it didn't have the second scenario of the game. Simply put, Armored Core 6 has three endings, and all the people complaining that the game is only 15 hours long simply only played it one time. You have not seen the extent of the content that the game has to offer if you've only played it one time. And that's not even considering PvP and the amount of hours that you could dump into that. And don't even get me started on the hilariously bad takes on PvP. I, that will probably be for a separate video. It's truly one of the worst takes I've ever seen on a From Software game Possibly worse than when Kotaku wrote that article about Sekiro about how games should have an easy mode. And this is one of my biggest issues with this review race that seems to happen with content creators. Everybody wants to get their review out minute one as soon as an embargo lifts. And I just think that does a major disservice to a game like Armored Core 6. This game is deep and has a lot of complexity and variation to it. And trying to rush a review out the door just so you can get onto the page first with your review so more eyeballs can see it is disgusting. This game needs to be played for an extensive amount of time before people can start even giving their opinions on it. But somebody's opinion that I do want is yours. Do you think that I was just completely wrong? Was the game too difficult? Was it too short? Was the story too vague? I don't know. Let me know. I notoriously have pretty bad takes on From Software games, I guess. So tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Praise the sub.